Hey guys, it's Kalana here and welcome back to my YouTube channel. And in today's tutorial, I'm going to share with you how you can start writing your change request using ChatGPT. Yes, you can use AI now to help you with all sorts of uh, project documentations. Now, what you need to be aware of is the better and more specific the instructions that you give to AI, the better the responses. And so today I want to share with you a really great prompt that's going to give you great results for your change request. And if you want this exact prompt, uh, the link is in the descriptions below. Now, whenever you're working on a project, you can't just make a change whenever you feel like it. So when projects don't go according to plan, what you have to do is to write a formal change request and then analyze that change to see how it affects other aspects of your project and then get it approved. And then you can start implementing that change onto your project. So whenever you want to make that change though, there has to be a formal process to document what that changes and then whether it's approved or not. So to speed up the process of you writing all of these change requests, now you can use AI to help you do so. And I'm going to show you how to do that today. Also, if you're new to this channel, I would really appreciate if you like and subscribe below. That would help me out a lot. Now, without further ado, let's jump into the change request here. Now, this is a, a pretty good template that we have here, but depending on your PMO and how they want the specific structure for the change request to look like, you may have to make a few tweaks, but let's take a look at this one here. So at the beginning here, we say, we tell ChatGPT that the change request is a formal proposal that alters some part of a product system or project. And here are all of the elements that we want ChatGPT to include in our change request. So we want a description of the change. So what exactly is being changed and to write a detailed description. We want a reason for the change. So why is this uh, change necessary. So the change could be necessary due to requirements being changed, unforeseen obstacles, opportunities to improve, etc. Then we want ChatGPT to analyze the impact of the change. So if we do make this change, what are some things we need to consider for the project scope, time, quality, and cost? And then uh, after the impact has been analyzed, we want to take a look at the alternatives. Have any alternative solutions been considered? And then we want ChatGPT to estimate the resources required to make this change, like and resources include time, money, and personnel. And then lastly is the approval status. Did the uh, stakeholders approve this change, reject it, or is it still pending? And then the last bit of instructions here that we give ChatGPT is that uh, change requests are crucial for maintaining control over a project and should be written, written clearly and concisely and be meticulously uh, documented. So what we can see here is that instead of just saying to ChatGPT, write a change request about blah, we actually gave it a structure and we told it to write clearly um, and think carefully through it and meticulously document it. So because we gave it much more instructions here, we can see that by using this prompt, we'll get a much better result. Okay, now I have pasted in this change request uh, prompt here and also I have written out some details about the project that we want um, ChatGPT to write the change request for. So the project is that you are building an AI chatbot for a gym. And instead of just being able to text this chatbot, now the client wants to be able to talk to this chatbot as well. So the change is to add in the voice feature to an AI chatbot. And now that we have pasted in that prompt, we can see ChatGPT is now writing out the change request for us. And we can see it is following the structure that we gave it. It's giving us a description of the change. So what's being changed, the reason for the change, uh, the addition of voice interaction capability is necessary um, to make the chatbot more versatile and user-friendly. We can see that it's actually writing this pretty well. And then in the impact analysis, it's telling us a scope, time, cost, and quality. It's giving us some alternatives that is considered uh, the additional resources. And we can see here that um, it's saying that the development time is an additional two to three months. This is something called hallucination. So 
when ChatGPT doesn't know the answer to something, it just starts to make it up. Uh, but it still gives you a pretty good template to go off of because you can just copy this and then just say the actual amount of time that your team estimated uh, this additional change would take. So whenever you get the results from ChatGPT, you should also uh, just read it over and make sure that all of the information is correct. All right, so this wraps up our tutorial on how to use ChatGPT to write your change request. And if your PMO uses a slightly different format to write these change requests, just go back to the prompt and then add in the specific um, items that they want to see uh, or take out some of these things that they don't want to see. And then you'll be good to go. It'll just take you a couple minutes to make those modifications and you'll be all great to go. Thank you so much for joining me for today's tutorial. I will see you soon in my next one.